What's up guys? Today I'm gonna do a little different. I'm literally sitting on my flo floor right now with uh, my doors to my closet as the background. But um, I just wanna speak from the heart in this video about dealing with negative thoughts, <clears throat> evil thoughts, impure thoughts. Um, for me, I think it was in middle school or high school was when the enemy really was attacking my mind. Um, he would put these thoughts in my head and literally I would dwell on it. And I would ask myself, why am I thinking these thoughts? And, and the fact that I dwelled on these thoughts, it made me fearful. It created anxiety in me. And guys, it, it got to the point where I would literally go home, go home and put my head into a pillow and cry. That's how much the enemy was attacking me. And I was giving into that. I was allowing him to. I was feeding off those thoughts. And now that I look at it, I'm like, wow, Satan really tried to, tried to take my life. Um, I was hopeless, guys. I was really hopeless. And, you know, thank God that he delivered me from that. Um, that power that the enemy had over my mind. You see, it's very important for us to be careful of, of what we feed our mind. Um, to be careful of what we dwell on. Because we literally will become our thoughts. Um, the mind's so powerful, and if we give the enemy access to it, he can literally control our lives. And that's what he did with me. And to this day, I still battle with negative thoughts, thoughts that come in that I don't want to think about. Uh, but it's majority because of what I watched as a little kid. Um, that's a whole nother topic to go into. It's, it's what I expose myself to. Um, and I realized that if I would never have exposed myself to those images, um, I wouldn't have these thoughts. But whenever these thoughts come in, I try to take them captive. And I try to replace them with, with who God says I am. And, you know, I, I say, like, I am not that thought in Jesus' name. I, I rebuke them. And I just, I let them go in. I don't, I don't feed on them. I, I just recognize that it's, it's an evil thought. It's not of God. And I just move on from there. I, I don't give it attention. Um, and yeah, guys, this is, this is definitely something that um, I still deal with. But as I said in my last video about anxiety, you're not alone. You're not alone if, if you're battling with these thoughts. I noticed for me when I got saved that the enemy would just put thoughts in my head. And you're not saved. You're not a child of God. And he still does it today. Um, all these kind of thoughts that, that he tries to put in there. And it's very important for us not to give in to those thoughts and to realize where they're coming from. Um, we got to realize that the enemy has really come to kill, steal, and destroy. And I think sometimes we can take the enemy for granted. Um, we can just act like or believe that he's not really there, but he is. Um, he is, he's out to destroy our lives, um, and we must be aware of that. So if you're battling with, with negative thoughts, um, thoughts that are not of God, hang in there. I'll continue to pray that God would just cleanse your mind, continue to take your thoughts captive to the obedience of Christ, uh, focus and dwell on what God says about you, um, you're not those thoughts, <laughs> you're not those thoughts, uh, if you are a believer, you are a new creation, uh, the old has gone and the new has come, um, and yeah, we gotta remain Remain strong and continue fighting, continue fighting to the end and know that God is with us. It's a process and that's what I'm learning. It's a process. It just doesn't happen like that. Uh, it's, it's definitely a process and uh, I'm just learning to take joy in it. 
um, to see where God has brought me from and, and, and to like, where he has brought me now it's amazing and that's definitely something to to focus on